It's because you have an assignment to fulfill. And so I don't care what you may have been told throughout your life. I don't care what the enemy may be telling some of you right now. You're not an accident. You're not a mistake. Uh, your life is worth living. You cannot give up now because you have an assignment to fulfill. Hit somebody and tell them, I'm not going to die till I fulfill my assignment. God taking me off my notes already. Amen. Hit somebody else and tell them I'm not going to die until I fulfill my assignment. 
See, some of y'all won't even say that. Some of y'all, it's just a bad thing to be saved and stuck up. Amen. And some of us is like, won't even open our mouth, but don't you know that the power of death and life lies in your tongue until you can proclaim it out of your mouth. The enemy's going to throw everything he can at you to try to get you down. There's some government officials want to commit suicide because they don't know if they got a paycheck on tomorrow. But I declare that even though the government may be shut down, thank God that we're not shut out because we are children of the King of God. And as long as you're a child of the King of Kings, there's nothing that the devil can throw at you and keep you away from the promise that God has for you. High five somebody and tell them, I am going to be what God says I am. If God allowed you to be born, regardless of your situation, Regardless of the circumstance, he allowed you to be born because he got a job for you to do. Every great person in the Bible that God really used was born in a jacked up situation. I mean, you can go all the way back to Seth. He was jacked up then. You can go to Cain and Abel. They was jacked up. You can go to Joseph. He was jacked up. You, you can go to David. He was jacked up. You can go all the way to Jesus Christ. Was born in a jacked up situation. But because your situation is jacked up, don't make you jacked up. So hit somebody and tell them, I will fulfill my assignment. Hallelujah. Um, um, let, 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 let me let me let me let me try to get forward here. Um, 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 just hit somebody. Tell them you here for a reason. Um, I asked my daughter Desi on yesterday as I was putting this together, uh, who's a college student at Washburn University, and I, I said, Desi, what happens if you do somebody else's assignment and get caught? And Desi then uh, replies and says, and I quote, there's multiple consequences such as you can get an F on that assignment, you can fail the whole class, you can be placed on probation, or even kicked out of school, end quote. Now I started thinking about that in the spirit realm and God began to let me know that when we try to do somebody else's assignment, uh, you can fail your own assignment and while you fail in your own assignment, you are forfeit blessing that God has for you and causing them to forfeit the blessing that God has for them all because you try to do somebody else's assignment. God says when you begin to do somebody else's assignment, I'm not there yet. I, I, I'll, t I'll tell you to come ride with me when I get ready. Uh, uh, when, you, when you do somebody else's assignment, you won't fulfill your purpose. And then you will begin to lose favor with God. And then you'll be placed on spiritual probation. And then you have to start all over. Hit somebody and tell them, I know somebody like that. We got some folks that are walking up in the church on even this morning that are on spiritual probation. Simon, you're close to your finish. You're close to your completion. So all you got to do is say, with my hands lifted up, I'll bless the O oh Lord. With my hands lifted up, I'll give you glory. With my hands lifted up, I'll magnify you. Some of y'all need to shout right now because the devil's doing the most in your life. He done turned it up right now. So you need to shout because all hell is breaking news. So in other words, don't wait till the battle is over, baby. But you ought to shout right now. Shout right now. Shout right now. Shout right now. Shout. Right now. Shout. Say out, say out, high five your name and tell him I won this battle. The devil thought he had me, but I still got my joy. Because this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it away. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Yeah! Yeah! I should have lost my mind, but I'm still here. I should be Kugel for Coco Pop, but I'm still here. Yeah! 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 And tell them whatever you're going through is just a sign that your assignment is almost complete. So don't give up now. You're too close now to your miracle. You've invested too much in God to give up on him now. And God has invested too much in you to give up on you now. So don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Hit him and say, finish. I don't know why the Lord just told me to say this, but I'm finna close this thing by simply saying, on your mark, get set, Oh!